All right, folks, we have Cindy here today, and she's going to share her year-long story of the potential year. And it's actually been more than a year. Me and Cindy have worked together uh, in different facets uh, over many years now. Um, but before you jumped in this particular time, Cindy, what what do you feel like the frustrations and and difficulties and challenges that you had were? So I was one of those people, I was always very active and very healthy. And then, you know, I had kids and life got busy and you don't take care of yourself as well anymore when you're taking care of other people. And so fast forward years later and I'm, you know, 20, 25 pounds overweight. I keep trying to eat better, take better care of myself, but I manage to keep sabotaging myself all of the time too. So that was my biggest struggle, I guess, coming into this was, um, you know, how do I develop a lifestyle that's different from the one I've suddenly find myself in healthier lifestyle? Absolutely. Yeah. That, that it's, I, I hear the sabotage all the time. That's like mm -hmm. people's biggest thing. Like, why do I sabotage myself? Why do I keep, you know, wanting this thing and not actually uh, following through and getting it right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we went through a whole process and worked through this, right? And um, how did the program ultimately help you? So I started with the 90 day challenge and that really helped just raise my awareness of what my rules were mm -hmm. around all of these bad habits that I had formed. Um, it just, it was a really reflective time for me um, and such a different approach from anything that I had tried before that made me sort of get into my own head and try to figure this out while at the same time, you know, working on the nutrition piece. So those two things simultaneously uh, was a game changer for me. Awesome. It's fantastic. And, you know, thinking about the whole year and just all the time, you know, where are you now? Like, what are some of the results and things that you've found have, have really been game changer for you? So um, I've learned about my lowest standard, which is much higher than it than it ever was. <laughs> I've learned um, I've learned how to not sabotage myself um, anymore. How to navigate that when that starts to happen again. Um, you know, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, I'm really successful. Am I always? Nope. But I don't beat myself up anymore over it because huge. I, I know I have the tools <coughs> yep. to, to do what I need to do. You know, I know I have the tools and honestly, it was a pretty, um, it was a pretty challenging year. There were a lot of things that happened, um, you know, lots of loss in my family, lots of things that happened. And I feel that I came out of that so strong because I had those tools. Yeah. And the loss in your family and then people have to know that we're, doing this and during COVID right now. So this right. is during COVID as well. So you throw that in the mix and all of the, uh, you know, all the other things and being a full-time teacher. And there's just a lot of pieces of this puzzle and you were able to release weight and maintain it. This I did. I did. I, did. I, well. lost, I, th I think about 25 pounds, um, which has been huge for me. I was always a small person. I'm only five one. So um, that's a, that's a lot of weight for, for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I've kept it off. I've kept it off for pretty much a year now because I did the, the 90 days and then I continued in the program for, uh, the past year as well beyond that and, um, continue just to learn more about myself and yeah. Yeah. It's the inner game stuff. It's the, it's the inner, inner game stuff that I, I tell people all the time. I'm like, if you do this stuff, this is the, these this is the stuff that really matters because yeah. I mean, you know, how many times have people tried diets and exercise programs and they just don't stick because right. they're not doing the inner stuff to get the outward solution. Right. Yes. Um, so that's totally awesome. So I have one last question for you that I love asking everybody is, you know, if, if, if someone was on the fence about, you know, either jumping into this program or just having a transformation in general, what's, the number one thing you would recommend to them? If they were on the fence, what would I recommend? Yeah, what would you say if somebody was like, I am I need to change for my life? Like, what would you say to them? I would say um, what you have taught me, something that I repeat all the time, <laughs> is that imperfect action 
is better than perfect inaction every time. So jump in and try it because you never know. I it can love, be a game changer. Love, yeah. love that. That's a fantastic way to live. It's always something versus the all or nothing, right? And yeah. it changes everything for people. I just so, had this conversation with my kids at dinner the other night and, and that quote again, and my husband said, yes, I've heard that in the, in the business world. They, yeah. they even use that. I mean, it's, um, I forget who it's attributed to, but anyway. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it, it works amazing. in business and health and everything else. Right. So it's, it's in all facets of our life. So I love that. Thank you so much. Um, Thank it's, you. it's been fantastic. Thank you so much, Matt. I'm so grateful.